Hi, teams, we're back again tonight. We were talking to you on Friday, both myself and Matt. We said if we had any more information that we'd come back to you today. So we are back. We've managed to get a couple of updates on some things, particularly around guidance for self-isolation and some lateral flow device stuff that we'll talk to you about tonight. So in terms of the, the guidance, there has been an update. We've still to see the official bit, but we've been in touch with uh, the people we need to speak to, and we're okay to release this tonight, Matt. So we're confident that what we're able to tell you tonight can be relied upon. Yeah. And if that proves not, we'll come back and tell you, but we're, we're really 99.9% .9 sure tonight. So Matt, we've had a, a change in the guidance about self-isolation for team members. And I think one real key difference, and I'll hand over to you, Matt, and you can take the teams through what that is. Yeah, absolutely, Harry. We've had a number of queries, as you can imagine, into the the office, if you like, today. And um, this is something that's obviously exercising a lot of, uh, you know, pharmacy teams out there. So, yeah, the, the main thing is, and the main one uh, change, I think, Harry, is double vaccination plus booster is essential uh, with a self-isolation policy. There's also the same that's been there before in terms of negative PCR has to be reported. You're obviously asymptomatic, so no symptoms, uh, COVID symptoms can be there. And then da daily lateral flow tests for the, the 10 days of that period have to be taken. But the main significant difference to the stuff that you'll see, to be fair, if you go into NHS and form at this moment in time, at quarter, well, you know what, back of four and, uh, you know, 13th of December, it'll tell you that actually it's just double vaccination that's okay, but it's not. It's double vaccination plus the booster. It's really essential to get that, I suppose, exemption as a critical worker mm -hmm. in health and social care, which community pharmacy teams absolutely are. To, to get that exemption, you need to have had that booster as well. So it's really important. Uh, but I think um, that's the main thing, Harry, and obviously those daily, daily lateral flows takes us on to the... The next uh, item, I suppose, in terms of lateral flow tests. Yeah. And the update, so the update for lateral flow tests, I suppose that also, Matt, encourages our teams to get the boosters mm -hmm. as soon as we can, if you haven't already, but that's one of the things. The lateral flow tests or devices, what we've got out there, we're aware that some of you have been maybe a wee bit difficult to get in some. So we've asked for the limit that you can get on a daily basis to be increased. And can we encourage the pharmacies, just so you're aware, you can order two outers a day. So make sure that you've got as many as you can. If you've got that demand, you can actually do that at the minute. But we've asked for higher than that. We're waiting to see whether that comes through. We've also asked, we know this is the busiest period for our teams out there. So we've asked, is there a way we can streamline the process for you? So it's maybe just a wee bit less bureaucratic than it currently is to make sure that you can operate the pharmacy well and we can contribute to the public health message and response by using and distributing the lateral flow tests. So we'll do the best that we can with that. We can of guarantee that for you. Those are the asks that we've made today and we'll be back with an update if we go through those sort of things. In terms of the updates, Matt, We've made maybe a few changes as well that you could do so we get some information. You can let the teams know about that. Yeah, absolutely, Harry. So at the height of the pandemic, it's fair to say that we were working really closely uh, with our uh, Scottish Government civil servant colleagues on getting the updates around the, you know, at the start of that pandemic. And we've probably stepped that back up. So, mm -hmm. you know, we hear a lot about alert levels, but if you like your informal alert level, the government's been increased. And we're back to daily meetings with the department now. Uh, to get all the evolving picture around Omicron so that we've got the most up-to-date information for, you know, the pharmacy network and pharmacy teams out there because actually we realise, you know, that the kind of feedback we've been getting, just as a good example, the guidance, actually we need to get that out to you quicker. You're maybe going to get this a bit quicker than other sections and in mm -hmm. independent contractor groups, I might. I might, I might say, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's for that type of reason that we're keen to get that information as quickly as we can, and quite often, as you can imagine, that comes with Scottish Government colleagues and I and us working yeah. closely together, so that's an example of what we're doing this week, just, uh, you know, as, as one example, as well as the team behind us answering your questions as quickly and as efficiently as we can, because Harry says, very busy for you guys at the minute, we appreciate that. We want, your, we want to answer your questions, uh, understanding that as well very quickly. So the team are beavering away, doing everything they can to support you guys uh, on the front line as efficiently as possible at this time, if you've even got the time to contact us, to be fair. 
No, indeed, Matt. And because of that fluidity as well, we'll be aware that if we get any new information over the next fortnight, we'll be back out to you as a network to make sure you've got as up to date as we can possibly give you. Yeah. No, absolutely, Harry. That's it. So Great. thanks again. And keep look after yourselves. Again, as Harry said, they're very, very important. And, and please, uh, please do that. Again, that's number one. Yeah. All the best, teams. Right. Cheers. Bye.